Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's layout is another DT layout and I'm going to be using this sketch by Lisa who's also a member of the design team and I'm going to be using two of their birthday flares um, which are also part of the May release. So this, um, like I say, I'm using this sketch by Lisa and it's got like um, a band of paper down the left hand side and then a couple of pieces of paper across the middle and some bits about for your flare. So I've gone with, I did start with um, a different piece of pattern paper down the left hand side and then changed my mind once I put the uh, layout together. Uh, so I decided to go for this orange one and it's got like balloons on it because um, this is two little photos of my little boy and um, it's his third birthday in April and it, these are just a couple of photos of him blowing his candles out working again in my uh, storyline chapters album uh, book sorry and um, yeah I'm also using um, them that blue star paper and the yellow line paper is more L studio papers I'm loving the L studios bits at the moment I get quite a few of them from hey little magpie they seem to have a good selection I don't seem to be able to find L studio um, stuff anywhere else and so, uh, yeah, I've added some, um, I'm just laying everything out just to make sure I like how it's looking and seeing what else I want to add to it. I've just found this um, big number three. Um, that was off an old sticker sheet. I can't remember what, um, what the make was. I've um, just hand drawn some balloons as well on some spare pieces of the L Studio paper and just added some coloured twine to the, um, the the back of it and them little yellow stars and more L Studio uh, chipboard stickers and then I've just um, added um, a, a little quote underneath capture and document and um, yeah, so it, it's it's quite a simple layout. Um, obviously, you can interpret the sketch any way you want. You can you can rotate it. You could have the the band of um, where the orange card is. You could tilt it and have that across the bottom if you wanted to. Um, you could have the band across the top, and maybe the the yellow and blue cat uh, piece of paper. You could have them as like tags hanging down. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, I mean, uh, the sketches uh, is there in the Facebook group for you to take a look at. Um, it was done by uh, Natalie uh, live on, it's usually going to be every Thursday of the, um, the month. But um, this week Natalie decided to, um, she had other, other commitments, sorry, and had to do it on the... Um, Wednesday instead so that's live um, every Thursday from seven o'clock and do pop along and join in um, we have a little bit of a giggle in the comments and help uh, decide where things maybe look better or give her ideas if she's struggling I really enjoyed the live and um, there's going to be a few more sketches along the way as well um that have all been designed by lisa obviously the dt group have um seen them first um will all be uh, joining in with creating uh, layouts using them uh, sketches and they're all fabulous i can tell you now they're all fabulous so the two little flares that i'm using um on this layout one's got some balloons on it um, different coloured little balloons and the other one has got writing on it which is just happy birthday fun um, and uh, this is the birthday collection there's another flare there's a plain flare in this collection there is um, one that's got presents on it as well um, so they're, they're brilliant for 
birthday layouts or maybe not even birthday layouts you just a celebration you don't have to what use the one with the words on the um the birthday um the birthday writing on you can just use the balloons or the presents it's entirely up to you the flares are very versatile <clears throat> So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to pop my photos onto some um, uh, double back, uh, sticky back foam, sorry, and just um, popping things down and just making sure I'm happy with the placement of things before I um, commit to sticking. That little banner there is from um, Cocoa Vanilla Sunkist. So I do and I do trim a bit of the white border because i do find that some of the ephemeras the border is quite thick um and i do end up just cutting off the little ties at the end and then just hiding the ends under the um the photographs so just working on positioning just making sure i'm happy with where i've got and i do end up moving bits about but i'm happy with where the photos are going so i'm going to get them stuck down before I change my mind. Also add in just um, a little chipboard piece there from L Studio. Um, the papers are lovely, they're really good quality and the um, the chipboard pieces as, as well are brilliant quality. Now these new flares, um, obviously if you're a member of the Dot You About Flare um group you'll know that um it was previously run by natalie um, and she decided um her flare time was up so she passed the business on to adam adam westwood um and he's um successfully got out um thousands of uh flares for the april um orders um but unfortunately he was having a few problems with the machine um wasn't working how he liked it to so he's now invested in a new um british machine and um they're all british parts um and the flares are absolutely stunning they're flatter they're shinier they are neat around the edges the back's neater they're just perfect and they're perfect for anybody who likes to just do normal scrapbooking or even if you do traveller's notebooks or like this the Heidi Swap storyline books there um you can add them in so it's not too um thick you know it's not gonna fill out your pages too much um so yeah they're a lot better um uh, quality um then his original order came out and at the moment he's working on a new website for the flares so it'll just be a normal online and order process um which will be a lot um quicker and easier for adam he can have the flares already made up and then just obviously package them up and send them out He's also working on a signature box, which is if you just want one of everything um, for that month of flares, then you just order the signature box and you get every single flare um, for that, uh, that month's release, which is a fab idea. The price will be different up and down depending on how many flares are in a pack. Um, depending on how many flares are released for that particular month but um do head over to us and um if you've got any questions we're all there and we'll um we'll answer uh, when we can and help you along the way so back to the layout i've just added um a little phrase down the size uh, uh what does it say something undocumented i think capture and document that's it and then that little wooden chipboard element to the left hand side and i've just added some little sequins uh, up the left hand side i've also added some of the yellow chipboard stars and the title across the bottom i couldn't get my title up the 
up the um, the right hand side where it was supposed to go on the sketch. So just using an, an old stamp that says make a wish because he'd actually blown his candles out on this um these photographs and just stamp them using a memento uh, blue ink pad just to finish it off and then I'm just going to pop a couple of little lines of journaling at the side of the photo and that's my layout done so yeah came together really easy if you fancy having a go at the sketch please pop along like I say to the Facebook group there is an album for you to pop it into and of course there will be a prize um some sort of flare surprise so yeah thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the close-ups and I hope you can join me again soon. Bye for now. Bye.